Okay, Daniel, here's a quick video. I'm going to find that painting. Now, I do want to show you one other. We'll give you one quick five minute tour. There you go. There's this one. Let me tell you something about this painting, Daniel. You see these leaves here? Those are actual real leaves that I picked up in France down below the Pont Neuf. And that's just a tree I did. That was, there's my favorite painting. But anyway, there's my, there's my attempt at one of those painter of light guys. Except for I stuck a little devil in the bushes over here. But yeah, but some of that kind of stuff. Let's move along here. This is one though I, I really like. It. It's kind of falling apart here. It's it's all a painting. And notice this down here. I can't quite get to it. This is so jammed up. That's my copy of Chagall's Seven Fingered Painter. And if you look him up, you'll see that is a really nice copy. So we'll have a record of it in case you see it's all it's just all falling apart. Just being outside and in the weather. And this is my attempt at Cubist Madonna and Child. And of course you know who that is. That's my attempt at the Cubist. You know, the light's not good in here. It kind of shines off everything, but Anyway, this is one I need to find a home to, but it's so heavy. This is a huge board and plaster. It's just... All right, let me get it. Here's the, the, the Madonna of Doom is uh, actually in the house. And there is a good thing, but I can't even get this stuff out. That's why I don't come out here anymore. It's just so jammed up. Here, maybe you'd have some interest in this. This is the Wounded Knee Pocahontas model. There we go. So you can see it's like General Cook opens up with a 40 millimeter cannon on innocent women and children. It's a it's a great. All right. Oh yeah, that's my granddaughter Carly doing barrel writing. And here's the painting. Let me get this. See if I can get this up. Oh. Oh, oops. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay, broke two other pieces of getting this one up. Here it is. This is one of my favorites, so I'm glad you appreciate it. We'll go from left to right here. Maybe you can see some of the intricacies. And It did take me about six months to paint this, so... Which is kind of funny to think about. How much money I've wasted on this, but... I can't quite get over here, but this is the... See, you move in this direction. If you can read what's written, most of that is taken from uh, the early sections of uh, the uh, Arcades project. It wasn't even translated then, but I got certain parts of it. The schema of visual perception. So if you, if you sort of read this from left to right, early screen. I mean, this was like a computer screen. I did this back in maybe 88. I don't even remember. And it's all, it's covered with about a quarter inch of dust. Okay, well, you can see these are direct uh, schema right out of Lacan. You know, if somebody doesn't recognize that, they probably don't get much out of this painting, but somebody did have it for about five years and they they gave it back to me. So there you go, Dan. Somebody else, if I can't get some anybody else interested in it. More paintings. More paintings. This one I like a lot. Maybe you like it too. I don't know. Most people don't. But it's one of my favorites. You see this square in the middle? What that was is that was a square that was left on the wall of a monastery in Tibet because the, I would call them icons of Buddha and various deities had been destroyed by the Chinese or whatever and this check section of wall it just sort of deteriorated and around it was left in deteriorating these other figures and so I just reproduced the whole wall off a photograph because I wanted to save this blank space right in the middle. I just like the way the colors and the patches. And this actually was hanging in a show 
and a group of uh, Tibetan Buddhist monks walked by it. And I asked them if they were offended at anything like this, you know, uh, I'm not a Buddhist and whatever. And they were so gracious and kind and they sat down and talked with me for a while and they had no issue at all of somebody who wasn't a Buddhist doing this artwork. They very much appreciated it. So I should have given it to them right then and there and I didn't. So that was a mistake. Anyway, that's it, Dano. Oh, there's a, the Angel of Death down there. Maybe I'm interested in that. It's kind of full. See all the paint falling off it down there? The squirrels, I think they eat it. They chew the paint off. See how they chew the paint off down there? Rats or something. Well, that's the way it goes. Oh, uh, yeah, there's the painting Moses getting circumcised. I don't think I've ever shown that one. All right, there's a good... Oh, there's that crucifix I made. Well, there's a good overview, Dano. All right, think about it. We'll see. There's the big picture. Oh, there's a photo I really like. Her father is an amazing artist. God bless you. See you later, Dan.